what up this is part two to our christian dating series that i'm going to start on youtube and we're going to dive into the bible uh very briefly just to to talk about intentional dating okay dating intentionally as a christian all right and i'm reminded of the story of jacob jacob and rachel okay and it reads in genesis 29 verses 16 through 20 it reads and laban had two daughters the name of the elder was leah the name of the younger was rachel leah was tender-eyed but rachel was beautiful and well favored and jacob loved rachel and said i will serve thee seven years for rachel thy younger daughter and Laban said, It is better that I give her to thee than that I should give her to another man. Abide with me. And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they seemed unto him but a few days for the love he had to her. So what we see is Jacob is intentionally going after this beautiful woman that he loves. Okay, and he says, as it was very traditional to do, he says, With this dowry, who Laban, the father, said, With this dowry, what you're going to have to do is work seven years. And so what they would do back then is, is a dowry, is, is a an exchange of money or time or work or labor for someone's daughter so he said listen i will work seven years for her seven years for rachel and he did so intentionally right and so he knew what he wanted and he knew the work that he had to put in to get what he wanted seven years fellas seven years and even the ladies watching this seven years you can't tell me that that man don't want you if he worked seven years to get you seven years he worked now at the end of those seven years he was end up tricked and i believe he got leah instead of rachel who was leah's uh, who was rachel's sister but he was willing to put the work in and so i'm relating this back to our modern day dating to what we go through now as christians is the fact that sometimes you're in these situations and you're dating and there's no there's no goal there's no vision there's no pathway to where we're going we're just getting strung along and one of the best things that happened to me was my fiance. What she did to me, our first time hanging out, she asked me straight up, what are your intentions with me? And I told her, I said, I like you, I'm interested in you. One day I want to work towards marriage and I want to marry you one day. I told her straight up, those are my intentions. And so when you're dealing with people, you have to ask these questions very early on. Because some of us don't even date to continue on and to hopefully be married. Some of us date to get out of the dating situation. Some of us date just to do it. Some of us get in relationships to get out because you're trying to fill a void, because you're trying to get some sex, because you want to see what you can get. But all that's doing is hurting yourself and hurting the other person even more. It's creating a toxic cycle. And so without any intentions, without any clear defined goals, you're just going to be going aimlessly throughout that situation. You're not going to know where this man is leading you. You're not going to know if he wants to marry you. See, a lot of times, Girls get strung along for years and years and years with men who they think are going to marry them. But truth be told, ladies, it does not take men that long to know if they want to marry you. Either he's um, unsure or he's uninterested. That's what I always say. If it takes years and years and years for a man to decide if he wants to marry you, to propose to you, he's either unsure or he's uninterested. Now then it's on you to figure out what it is that you want to do with that situation. But you can't keep getting strung along. And even men too, you can't keep getting strung along if you're not leading this lady to just no man's land, to just wherever she wants to take you. You have to be intentional. And intentionality takes communication. The first thing we see right here in verse 18 was Jacob communicated and he just said Jacob loved Rachel and said I will serve thee seven years he communicated this he was intentional he said okay for the next seven years he didn't say for the next however many years Jacob in Genesis chapter 29 verse 18 he said and I he said I will serve thee seven years he was intentional he communicated his intentions and he served his seven years for the woman who he felt deserved it and so ladies my question to you is has he communicated his intentions? Have you seen the work that he's willing to put in to get your love, to get your uh, marriage, to get your uh, commitment, to get your loyalty? You have to be intentional when you are doing these things. You have to be intentional in the dating realm. You have to be intentional in relationships. We see a clearly defined example of intentionality in this small little passage, passage in the Bible. 
And see, sometimes we think that we're going to offend the other person by asking them, okay, where are we going? Where are you leading me? What are you doing? Are you practicing celibacy? Do you think you're going to get sex before marriage? By communicating and voicing how you feel, you think you're going to push that person away. Because your flesh is, your flesh is telling you, yes, I want this person. But your spirit and your morals and your values are saying, okay, this person is not even being intentional with explaining to me what it is they want to do. So now you're just going with the flow. And it never works out. It almost never works out that way. So intentionality in dating is crucial. It's crucial. You have to ask the hard questions. Like my fiance asked me, that was one of the best things she could have did. She asked me straight up. Because I told her, like, look, I was feeling her and I told her, like, hey, we should kick it. And I said, before we start dating, we're going to go on a hangout just so I can see if we have uh, chemistry. So we went on this hangout and we were just talking at the little mini golf place. We were just talking, talking, talking for hours. And then she asked me, like, hey, what are your intentions with me? So she put me on the spot and I had to tell her as a man, this is what I want to do with you. I want to work towards marriage. I'm interested in you because you're that valuable to me. And if a man seeks you and finds you as that valuable, he will have no problem voicing his intentions with you. So remember that intentionality is key is necessary, is required when it comes to dating successfully and ultimately leading toward marriage. Let me know if anything in this video helped you. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, make sure you subscribe with the link below. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you let me know if there's any topics that you want me to touch on, but otherwise share it with anyone you can. Uh, thank you for watching and be blessed.